Back now, our special Saturday health segment, we call it Doctors on Call. The focus today is on strokes, what causes them and how they can be prevented. Every day, 14,000 people all over the world die of a stroke. Today, let us try and understand what is a stroke and why it is a medical emergency. Welcome to Doctors on Call. I'm your host, Dr. Samir Gupta. And I'm your co-host, Dr. Sonia Lal Gupta. As a neurologist, I see patients suffering from stroke from the age of 15 years till the age of 90 years. Now, before we tell you what is a stroke, it is important to understand why does a stroke happen. Now our brain needs a constant supply of oxygen to function properly. Now this oxygen reaches the brain through the blood supply. Now for any reason there is a problem in the supply of blood to the brain, this brain stops functioning properly. And you know what Samir, if the blood stops supplying for more than a few minutes, this causes the cells of the brain to actually die. So basically in simple terms, a stroke happens when the blood supply to the brain stops and the brain cells die. Broadly, there are two types of stroke. One of the type accounting for 80% of the stroke is ischemic stroke. Ischemia is the lack of blood flow or lack of oxygen and nutrients that the blood carries to an organ. In this case, the brain. Ischemic stroke occurs when there is an interruption to the blood flow due to a variety of reasons. Some common reasons are cardiac reasons like an abnormal rhythm or an irregular rhythm of the heart. This creates turbulence of flow which causes a clot to break off and travel to the blood vessels of the brain, blocking them, cutting off the blood supply. Other risk factors include high blood pressure, diabetes, high cholesterol, smoking and a strong family history. These risk factors put you at a risk of causing blockage or narrowing of your arteries of the brain and hence causing a stroke. The second type of stroke is the hemorrhagic stroke. This is when there is bleeding into the brain. The blood vessel bursts causing blood to spill into the brain or in spaces around the brain. One of the most common causes of hemorrhagic stroke is uncontrolled high blood pressure. Over a long period of time, the high blood pressure affects the smaller tiny arteries of the brain causing the wall to weaken and then rupture. Many times, people with a hemorrhagic stroke have a sudden onset of a very severe headache. Now if you or someone you know who normally does not get headaches but suddenly develops a very bad headache, then it's time to call an ambulance or go to your closest emergency room. When someone has a stroke, every second is important since the cells of the brain are continuously being damaged. Some of the common symptoms of the stroke are sudden weakness of the face, arm, leg, trouble speaking or sudden loss of vision. A simple way to remember this is FAST. F stands for face, meaning weakness in your face, not able to move a part of your face. A stands for arm, meaning weakness of the arm or not able to move the arm or your arm getting limp all of a sudden. S stands for speech, difficulty in talking, speaking or inability to make some words. T stands for time, that means call an ambulance right away. A stroke is a medical emergency. If you or anyone close to you develops any of the problems we talked about today, then please go to your closest hospital or call an ambulance immediately. Please remember, the more you delay treatment, the more the brain damage and less are the chances of recovery. See you next week.